I can't work, so I'm on disability. Um, I only get what about two hundred some dollars in food stamps, so that's not gonna cover like almost eight people in a household. So therefore, I have to fall back and rely on food pantries. I'm on Social Security, and the food helps me. Like I don't have to spend all my food stamps on certain food because your food stamps don't last the whole month, so that's why I come in. I, I'm not eligible to get food stamps or anything, so I'm going to make it's enough just to pay the utilities and rent. I have the meat, I have the potatoes, I have the veggies, everything is there. It's there to accommodate me to be not crying, not worrying about when the next meal is coming. I'm going to be all right. And that's what they do here. They make it where you can provide. I mean, it's hard, especially when you're doing it by yourself. Uh, it gets stressful, but I'm blessed that uh, I got food pantries that I can go to. I go to about like four or five pantries just so, you know, my kids can have something to eat every day. You know, it, it's uh, not easy, but you got to have like a schedule. That's what I do. Like I'll come here and then I go to, what is it, Skyline, and then there's a little one up the street from me, and that'll keep me in food till I can come back here again. Yeah, it is stressful. <laughs> it's very stressful. I think people do tend to kind of have a, a uh, image in their mind when they hear the word food pantry that it's a homeless person living under a bridge or something like that. And while we do see homeless people and serve homeless people, by far our most typical client is a family with kids. Uh, oftentimes this family is working two or three jobs to make kids meet, but it's still not enough to to put food on the table and to feed their kids adequately. And, and it's, it's a big crisis in Oklahoma. And to have this many people that are going hungry or don't know where their next meal is coming from is a travesty. And if you drive by here any given morning, uh, you'll see a line of people. It's kind of reminiscent of the Depression era soup kitchen lines. One in four kids in Oklahoma doesn't get enough food to eat. One in five seniors uh, have to choose between buying medicine or, or purchasing food. And that's, that's crazy. Had another mom come in, a single mom. She had three kids, little kids. I noticed they all had a this was years ago, I had a piece of white plastic and they were chewing on this plastic. And I finally asked the mom, I said, what, what is it that they've got? And she, she hung her head, she said, it's a packet of honey from a fast food restaurant. She said, that's all I've had to give them for the last two days. That's, that's just unacceptable. It's very stressful. Some days I want to give up and then some days I just wake up and I just look at my kids and be like, I can't give up. And I'm, you know, I'm the only person that they have. So I have to get up and make something happen for them because I can't see my kids going without, you know, eating. I can go without eating, but I'm going to make sure my kids eat. So that's why I'm here today. This place is one of those places that can, you know, help you survive. I don't have to worry about where the next meal is going and how I'm going to stretch it out or if I'm going to be able to eat, you know? Food pantry saves lives because I think if we didn't have food pantries, I don't know what we I don't know what we would do really and then like if you don't have no money to fall back on or if you didn't have no food stamps to you know fall back on and if we didn't have no food pantry where would we be you know